Hello everyone, another chair. So let's build a chair similar to this. Um, in this tutorial, you will learn how I'm going to build this, you know, armrest and these legs and also this simple two cushions, right? So I'm going to use uh, two different techniques. Um, you can use a cube and then extrude this one but this time i'm going to use a different version so that you can learn some new techniques of building stuff so that's my main goal in this uh, tutorial so let's start um, i'm going to create a new uh, file um, so let's delete this cube and then add a mess i'm going to add a round cube so if this is not available you can go to you know edit preferences and then under the add-ons you can type and search extras and then enable extra um, you know objects so that way you can get that option in the add option add mesh and then you will have all these you know additional stuff all right so now if you tap into the edit mode you can see that it's already uh, you know rounded cube what i want here is i want to scale this one only along y axis s to scale and then y all right let me quickly uh, enable um you know shortcuts please all right um so if you tab into edit mode and then it is better to have some uh you know loop cuts click on the loop cut and then click on this and then go to the dialog and then increase the number to maybe yeah three that should do it and then add another loop cut over here in this direction and then increase that one to maybe three now let's add some you know attribute to this uh, cushion so first thing is i'm going to go to down view of uh, the top view and then select uh, the face selection mode and then select all these faces now enable proportional editing or press o from your keyboard and now scale along y axis along press y after you press s okay now let's give it another uh, shape here i'm going to get another loop cut over here and while that loop cut is selected i'm going to grab this along y axis grab g to grab and then y to constrain to y axis and then this is kind of like a backrest now select the face selection mode and then select these faces and then while you have all these you know uh, uh, proportional editing enabled grab along y axis to give it a kind of like a you know attribute like a you know cushion now this is too much of you know globally what i would do here is i simply tab out of edit mode and then control 2 to give it two levels of subdivision surface modify so that you will feel like a more like a cushion and then after that click on that still you can see some you know, low poly uh, signs select the object go to object and then shade smooth now you can see a smooth surface let's duplicate this shift d and then right click now you have two objects at the same location now while you keep that selected press rotate that is r along x-axis and then rotate let's give it a slight angle if you go to side view and then grab Uh, scale along z-axis grab the z slightly and then also rotate x rotate 
x and inside the grab. Why? So I'm adjusting so that I don't feel like you know it is deformed. All right. Okay. Now what you want to do here is, uh, so I think it is upside down. Let's turn this, uh, combine these together. Control J. And now rotate this one. Rotate along x-axis 180 now if you click on you know right side up so you can see that is uh you know right side up grab z all right so go to side view now your cushion I mean the seat and the backrest is done let's do our chairs uh, legs so one leg is going from this point and then through this seat and then down so I will make it as a single piece right so go to side view and then add a curve this is a curve and let's rotate this curve rotate along Z axis 90 and also rotate along Y axis 90 now that curve is this way. Let's get back to the side view and grab and then place it somewhere here. Now tab into edit mode, grab this point only, grab Go to side view again and then grab this point and then rotate. Um, turn off the proportional editing if you already have it and then rotate. And grab, grab this point only. and tab out and then scale again select the point uh, curve and then this point grab this point only grab oh not that much grab Take this, grab somewhere here, and then rotate. Okay, that should do it. Don't worry about the location, and then we go to top view, and then select the curve, tab out of edit mode, and then now grab again. Get it very close to the one end all right let's do the the other leg as well the back leg go to side view again add a curve busy curve of course this is in the wrong you know orientation rotate along z axis 90 now you have curve that is flat on the ground now what you need to do is you need to rotate this curve along y axis 90 degrees 
and now go to side view again now adjust this uh, curve for height add into edit mode a and then rotate okay and then grab so that is on the same you know grid line so this is a grid line and then you know make it roughly the same and then grab this portion only grab it somewhere here inside the chair go to top view and then grab it to a side grab press a to select everything and then grab to this side to put it exactly on the other leg now if you go to side view you can see your chair has two legs now let's select uh, tab out of edit mode and then select the curve all right now let's do one thing go to object uh, convert to mess do the same thing for the other curve as well object convert to mess now if you go to edit mode tab into edit mode you can see this curve if you enable um, vertex mode and then you can see so, uh, several vertices that made up the uh, curve and then if you press a you select everything and then extrude press e to extrude and then press x to constrain to x axis and then you need to uh, extrude along x axis and then i can click on that and then you can see the amount you can exactly type maybe like uh, minus 0.15 so that you know exactly how much you you know uh, extruded that one tab out click on this uh, curve tab into edit mode press a to select everything and then now e to extrude along x-axis so you can uh, click somewhere and then adjust this one to be minus that is negative 0.15 so that you have exactly the same uh, thickness right for both legs now tab out of edit mode now click on this leg go to uh, modifier tab and then click on add modifier solidify modifier and then go to side view and then see uh, increase this value until you are satisfied with the thickness of the chair and then 0 0.05 meters right and then click on this curve do the same thing add modify solidify modify right so i'm trying to do a different thing this time select uh, this curve uh, the the mess and then shift select the other one that has the modifier and then control l then you should have uh, an option called modifiers right so you exactly copy the you know copy exactly the same modifier as you would apply here right or you can you know create that one from the beginning but that is the easiest and then you get exactly the same uh, settings all right seems like this one is uh, let's check the thickness uh, 0 0.05 i think we need to make it slightly larger uh, seven eight for for instance let's make it eight as well okay now you have two legs what we want to do here is select one of them and then collapse this uh, modifier and also add another modifier called uh, mirror modifier and then I need to uh, apply the mirror modifier along x axis but the uh, the pivot point should be my chair 
now you have two uh, front uh, legs and then you do the same thing for the back leg collapse the modifier that is the sub uh, solidify modifier add another mirror modifier and keep it along x-axis and then also mirror object is going to be my chair all right now you have uh, a chair that is mm, pretty nice let's um, uh, move this slightly uh, grab y so that you see some uh, you know nice arrangement there all right so let's assign okay before that let's see whether this one looks nice seems like it's you know low poly click on that and then go to object shade smooth and then you will feel like it is uh, all of a sudden it became you know became like a tube right so to resolve that come over here object data properties under the normals uh, click on auto smooth and then do the same thing for this leg object shade smooth and then also enable auto smooth now you feel like it is smooth but of course it is you know having some you know low poly structure uh, you what you can do here is you can apply subdivision surface modifier to this one as well but it increases the the number of uh, topologies you have but i would like to keep this one as you know this all right let's assign some um, you know materials select this cushion go to material tab click on add new and then select some colors <coughs> maybe you know um, you know very gray color and then to see that you need to be in uh, material preview sharing viewport not in the uh, you know um, solid uh, viewport say right so go to material and then select the leg click on new and then make it you know all the way black and then same thing for this new uh, let's assign a material right so select this shift select the leg control l material yeah that's your chair easy chair but we use different techniques to build the legs as well as the uh, cushion all right hope you find this tutorial useful for your next project uh, if you like this Please uh, remember to subscribe and then like and share with your friends. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.